This is Bird Ortiz and you're watching Big DBS. Read BBS, BBS, Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. We on a war tour, Tribe Called Quest, Read BBS, BBS. And we're going to get right into it, man. Prospect of the year 2019. Very easy choice this year. Easiest of all the awards to uh, make a determination on. Virgil Ortiz Jr., 15 and 0, 15 KOs. Now, at the start of this year, there seemed to be some ambiguity, some uncertainty as to what weight class Virgil would campaign at. But he firmly and fiercely planted his flag at 147 pounds in 2019. He stole the show on the Canelo Alvarez, Daniel Jacobs undercard, stopping Mauricio Herrera in just three rounds, less than three rounds, actually. And not only had Herrera never been KO'd, this was against the likes of Danny Garcia, Ruslan Provodnikov, Jose Benavidez, Saddam Ali, Jesus Soto Carras. Having fought all those men and not been KO'd, this fight against Virgil Ortiz was a KO of the year candidate. It was that brutal. A devastating lead right hand, bow! Froze Herrera in place out on his feet unconscious against the roast man it was it was breathtaking to say the least uh three months later antonio orozco again never been stopped most notably went 12 rounds with unified champion jose ramirez verge dropped orozco three times stopped him in the sixth round so at this point you know naysayers are starting to wonder is golden boy they're just hand picking these smaller latino fighters that are tailor made for ortiz no so they match him with a slick brother, Brad Solomon. Once again, never been KO'd. Only this time, Brad Solomon's taller than Virgil. Fought his highest middleweight early in his career. 28-1 record. The potential was there for stylistic difficulties on paper anyways. <laughs> Three knockdowns later, fifth round stoppage. It's like this, man. Virgil Ortiz Jr. is a certified hunter. And he cut off three prominent heads, took him to the taxidermist, and hung him in his goddamn living room in 2019. It was like that. My man is patient. He sets up the kill shots behind a power jab, uh, power jab, I should say. He spots his prey. He finds the proper angle to shoot from, loads his gun, his crossbow, the right hand, the left hand, or whatever the weapon of choice is at the time. And then he unloads with murderous fucking intent. Murderous intent. Young, young Buck ain't playing. Homie ain't playing when he in that ring, man. I said prior to the Solomon fight that Virgil Ortiz would beat Keith Thurman right now. 50-50 with Danny Garcia right now. My mind has not changed on those two guys. And I'd love to see Virgil face, uh, let's say, an Adrian Broner or even a Sergey Lippin Yates in 2020, man. This dude's future so goddamn bright, he need to wear sunglasses. Real talk. Honorable mention for 2019 prospect of the year. And one of my absolute favorite names to say right now. No, no, it's not Reed BBS. BBS. It's Daniel Dubois. Or as I like to pronounce it, Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois. Dynamite Daniel Dubois. 14 and 0, 13 KO, 6'5 heavyweight, just 22 years old, man. He's a newborn fucking baby by heavyweight standards. He was 5 and 0, 5 KOs in 2019, uh, most notably over the, the undefeated Nathan Gorman. That's the actual first fight I saw of Dubois live. And then I got on YouTube and backtracked some to familiarize myself. As the Wilder Fury Joshua Trio, as they get to the bottom of just who, just who? the best current heavyweight is, Daniel Dubois could very well be the division's future, man. I'm not bullshit neither. Rumors of a date with Joe Joyce in 2020. I like Dubois. I like Dubois. Big in that one. But yeah, the award tour has just begun. Buckle up. It's going to be fun. Subscribe. Comment on these awards. If you disagree, let me know. If you agree, let me know. Love tap and or bitch slap that like button. And yes, please share this shit.
Read BBS, BBS. Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.